everybody, this is Anna Kellish coming to you from Realty World, Knox Realty Group. I have a special guest here, Mr. Eric Turner. He is with Inspired Home Inspections, or IHI. Eric, please introduce yourself. Hello, as she said, I'm with Inspired Home Inspections. Um, relatively new to the home inspection industry. Uh, I've just started July of 2023. Um, a little bit about me, I've been in the life safety industry for 20 plus years. Um, servicing, inspecting, installing fire suppression systems, sprinkler, fire alarm, etc. What inspired you to launch a home inspection business? Well, uh, the, the main thing is we recently had a home built and the builder did not do the best and you know we foregone the inspection because we thought, hey, this is a new home, new construction, everything's going to be perfect. Right. It was not, unfortunately. so. I've decided to transition and start conducting home inspections to help the community, help people that aren't aware mm -hmm. of the underlying issues that you could be looking at and not even realize that they're there. And what are some of the benefits of hiring a home inspector? I think a lot of the benefits are knowing what you're looking at and you know being able to monitor different issues or budget. You know, if you're if your AC unit or furnace or water heater, you know, it's at or past its life expectancy, you know, it just, it just gives the buyer that, you know, option. Definitely. I think that home inspections are essential, right? hundred percent, yeah. So that the homeowner and even the seller, I personally, if I were going to sell my home, I would like to know, hey, what, what can I do and be proactive before I even put my house on the market? For sure, yeah. In order to not sell anybody a lemon. Yeah, right. the, yeah, you don't want to do that. Right. What are some tips that you can give homeowners? Let's say, for example, I'm looking to, for example, the house I'm in now, I'm probably not, that's not going to be my forever home. Right. And, and someday may be putting it on the market. But what are some things that I can do now to keep the house in good shape? Preventative maintenance is, is big, whether it's monthly, annual maintenance. You know, making sure you change your air filters on a regular oh, basis. Okay. Um, keeping your gutters clean so the water is moving away from the house. Um, if it's wood or, you know, making sure the paint you know, or stain is mm -hmm. up to date. Okay. Things like that. Just preventative maintenance. Okay, so a just a one. little bit. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way. Goes yeah. long way. Okay, that's good to know. Tell me about your experience when buying a home. I'm meaning more on the real estate side. Did you have a real estate agent? Uh, we did, yes. We, so we, we had a real estate agent. Um, she was very helpful, helpful in you know, finding a, a location that my wife and I wanted to move in maybe or, or may, you know, may not be our forever home. She, and she just educated us a lot on the things we um, needed to do. Uh, you know, well, like on our first home years and years ago, you know, we had no idea what we was getting into. We said, mm -hmm. hey, we're gonna buy a home. You know, this right. was 20 plus years ago. Right, okay. But, so it was just, the real estate agent is very, in my mind, crucial because they make sure you have everything in order so you're, and they protect you when you're buying the home. You know, they have your best interest at heart. Right. And if people wanted to get in touch with you, learn more about your business and, and get you to come and inspect their home, how would they reach you? Um, you can reach me via email at eric at ihi.homes, H-O-M-E-S, or my website, www.ihi.com. Dot homes um, would be the best two ways. Eric, thank you so much for making thank the time to come here with yeah. me. It was a pleasure Likewise. having you. Thank you, everybody. See you next time.